Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. In this tutorial, we will look at how we can sum the total duration for the tasks in our project. Now this is quite a common question for me to get in Microsoft Project courses, where some people are not just happy that the duration will show you how many days there are, in between the start and the finish dates of that task or phase or project as a whole and they would also like to see the the sum of the total so they want to know what the, the sum of all them days were to, to find kind of total effort or total sort of work uh, without the need of having to export it to Excel um, and producing some kind of pivot table or something to get that information. They want Project to provide it straight away. And by default, uh, Project doesn't do that. Its emphasis is always on the schedule and they're concerned with how many days are until a finish date. Always against that finish date as its primary concern. But saying that we can create this kind of scenario as we can many others in MS Project, it is an extremely flexible and versatile beast we can get it to do almost anything we want to if we have the will uh, to do so so let's look at how we can do this objective at uh, sum of total duration uh, for each of our tasks we are going to go for the format tab so I'm in Gantt chart view if you're not can you switch to your Gantt chart view we are concentrating on Gantt chart and we're going to go to the Format tab under our Gantt Chart Tools our banner so we can get access to this Custom Fields button. There are other ways to get to Custom Fields. You may have your own way. Project 2010 will go this way. We can create Custom Fields in MS Project of many different types. This dialog box will give us access to this um, kind of field type list in the top right asks us what is the type of field we'd like to create loads of good stuff in there you know flags to bring our attention to things and cost that's a very popular one uh, we're going for duration so it will list uh, I believe 30 is it 30 oh I've gone well past it if it is oh, it's 10 I'll tell a lie uh, 10 different uh, duration fields for our use there uh, we're only using one to be fair uh, so I'm going to select the first one could choose any but what's wrong with the first one um, and I'm going to click rename below and, and give it whatever name I want I'm going to call it total duration sounds like a good name for me click OK it is now known as total duration but maintains the fact that it is also known as the first duration custom field so we're always reminded that this isn't a projects field it's one that we have created ourselves. now directly below the rename button we have a formula button um, we're going to click on formula uh, in here we can create a formula we're not creating anything too crazy we just want project to know what field we want to concentrate on uh, they provide a field button here as well as many other good stuff we're going to choose the duration type of fields from these categories and choose duration so we're just interested in the normal duration you can see things like baseline duration there, actual duration yeah a lot of other good stuff that you may well be interested in if you're going to be using this one as well uh, but we're going to choose duration on its own here and it goes as a field and we'll just click OK straight away we're not going to do anything else to that I'm not going to divide it by two or anything. We'll just click OK. Uh, existing data will be removed. Yeah, go for it. This formula is going to do a calculation. That's what we want. And then directly below the formula button, we have a roll up option for summary rows. Uh, we're going to ask it to roll up and to use sum. So it will add up uh, all of the durations. Um, at each kind of level, at each level of our outline when it rolls up. And we'll click OK, which will create that field. So now we have a field, it's called total duration, and its job um, 
is to sum the total duration uh, at each, each level. So when I click OK, that field is created, but it does not appear straight away uh, because it is not a field, it is not a column in your default uh, Gantt chart and what is known as an entry table. So we'll have to bring it in ourselves. I'm going to bring it in in between duration and start. So I'm going to right mouse click on the start column header. Choose to insert a column. And when it drops down this list of columns to search for, I'm going to type TO to try and shoot through this large list looking for the total duration column. Uh, known as total duration, also known as duration 1. Let's select that column and it is inserted. So at task level, doesn't look too impressive, looks like it's repeating itself. But at these kind of roll up phases where, you know, 17 and a half days between start and finish, 20 days total effort sort of thing. Um, 100 days of kind of work, um, which is about half that between start and finish. As we see, you know, tasks will overlap, etc. Uh, and that is that. That is now a legitimate field we can use in other views of MS Project as well. Uh, still export to Excel for more usage in there. And anything else you may know um, in your MS Project skill set. Uh, the ability to create custom field is, is massive, really good kind of skill uh, for us to know. Here, just concentrating on finding the total duration uh, for each task in our uh, project scan chart. Thank you for watching. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargar.com.